Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are going to take a look at a palette that almost passed me by. And I thought I did a pretty good job of keeping my ear to the ground, but I almost missed this one. This is the brand new By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder Palette. Um, I say I almost missed this because I only know about it because I was tagged by the lovely Elysium Fields Beauty. You probably follow her over on Instagram. If not, you should. She has great beauty content and uh, wellness content as well as talks about a lot of new releases. And had Elysium Fields Beauty not tagged me, I think I might not have known this existed. So I am very, very grateful. And I have linked her information below because you definitely should check check her out for sure. Okay, let's talk about this because I don't want a Buy Terry product to go unnoticed by us. What an amazing makeup artist Terry is and an amazing company and amazing products. Okay, so you might have heard, I'm sure you have, of the loose hyaluronic hydra powder, which has been all a rage and comes in so many different shades, um, you know, to use for different applications on our face. So this has been put into a pressed powder version. So let me just show you this in the pan. Of course, there's a mirror here, which I'm covering up. These are four shades of the hyaluronic hydro hydra powder pressed into a pressed powder palette um, rather than loose powder. So, you know, some of us prefer loose. So many of us, especially for travel or throwing in our bags, prefer pressed. So there's four pressed. Now this does come in two different shades. So this palette comes in fair to medium, which I went ahead and picked up and we're going to try right in a few minutes or a few moments, I should say together. But there is also a medium to dark palette. So this does come in two shade ranges. And because it is a fairly translucent, just gently gently shaded product. Um, there's a lot of room for error in and around then, or I, I should not say error. There's a lot of room for winning and triumph actually within there. So I picked up the fair to medium. This is a $60 palette. Um, and actually I would have done this earlier, but mine got held up in custom. So I would have told you about this earlier, but actually you can get the hyaluronic powder palette along with the hyaluronic uh, lip that is so popular, that product by Terry. And you can get it right now on the website for $78 instead of 98. So if you bundle them together. So I did wanna tell you about that. I think that runs through the end of September, but it might go longer. I don't know, you might wanna check that out on the by Terry website. At any rate, I paid 60 because I already have the lip products and I am wearing it today. In fact, I have a full face of By Terry on today. Now, the thing that I've noticed with powders, there's a lot of confusion with powder and a lot of people say to me, what do I use it for? Why would I need it to be anything other than translucent? What do the different shades do? And I know that puts a lot of people off. So I, I wanted to do a quick little kind of tutorial on um, just a bit basic how to use it. Now this won't cover all the bases and I am not trying to talk down to anyone. So if you have additional information, go ahead and add it in comments. I love the dialogue. But for those of you who are a little bit confused by the whole idea of all these different powders. I thought I would just give you a quick brief on how to use it. This would work for this light to medium, this fair to medium shade, as well as the medium to deep shades. This would kind of work for the same same premise, whichever palette you pick up. So I have a mirror here and we're gonna talk about it. First, I did wanna tell you, because I think this is very important, that like the other by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra powders, the loose, there is no scent, either in the loose powder or in this pressed palette. Oftentimes by Terry does have a sort of a by now signature rose scent, and that is not in either the loose, so it's no surprise that it is not in the powder as uh, the pressed powder as well. But I did want to say that because for some people find that rose scent alluring and delightful and some do not like it, but it is not here. Okay, so we have four shades um, in both palettes, but I'm using my fair to medium. We have a cool rosy tone right here that is used to kind of highlight and brighten under the eyes and, and highlighting, and we'll use it for that. There is a more neutral tone available in both palettes that kind of evens out and can be used all over and evens out the complexion. Then there is a warm tone uh, right here, this warm tone right here that kind of um, 
sets the makeup and will bronze as well. And then a soft apricot over here that kind of helps with discoloration and such. Let me show you that in two different lights. Let me show you it on my arm first in studio lighting so you can see the difference in the fair to medium palette and how that looks on my arm. Take a look at that there. I went ahead and did the cool rosy tone. It's followed by the neutral tone and the soft apricot and that last is the warmest tone that can also be used to bronze. Although you might have more luck bronzing in the deeper palette actually, but we're gonna go ahead and try it today. I haven't finished any of my makeup, so you're gonna do that with me. But let's first run along outside and take a look at this in the California sunshine. Same swatches on my arm in the same order. I just went ahead and did it for you outside so you can take a look at it in different lighting. I think there's nothing better than natural light to really see what shade everything is. N none of our devices, our computers, our phones are ever perfectly color correct, but at least outside gives us a slightly better chance to see it that way. All right, let's give this a try. As you see, I do have a full face of By Terry makeup on, but I have no powder products on. So we're gonna take a look at that together. I'm gonna just move my mirror over here. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to kind of set all over. And for that, we're going to use the second shade over, which is the more neutral tone. And I'm just gonna take a uh, powder brush here from Sonia G and just cover it into the powder here in the neutral tone. And I'm just gonna kind of set my makeup. Now I do have some blush on, so I'm doing this slightly out of the way, at, out, of the, out of order. And I'm even going to kind of buff it in a little bit, though this is not a kabuki flat brush that I would normally use for that. I'm still gonna kind of use swirling motions here and you'll see that already my makeup is going to look a lot more finished. And all I did was just kind of set it slash finish it with this neutral tone right here. Normally, if you wanted to use this just as a setting powder, you would go in before blush, before highlighter, before anything else, just over your foundation and just kind of sweep it on to set. But I actually kind of set and a little bit of finishing there too. Okay. Let's, um, let's look at this cooler rosy tone right here. This can do a few things. This can brighten under the eyes and also highlight. So we're gonna go ahead and use it for both. And I went in there, you saw some powder kick up, but that's just finely milled powder. That's not a flaw in the product. And I'm just going to show you here as I just kind of dot it under my eyes to just kind of brighten. So this eye I have just brightened and this eye I haven't touched yet. Brightened, non-touched. Sorry, I haven't brush in my hand. Brightened, non-brightened. Okay. Let's go ahead and brighten under that eye as well. And then we're going to kind of use it to highlight. Sometimes it's, I'm going to just put this right here. Sometimes it's nice to highlight with something that isn't too sparkly, but it's just a little bit lighter. And for me, this shade of palette is very much a perfect shade for that. What do you think? Kind of nice, huh? Okay. Now, we have this kind of soft apricot shade. Pardon me, this soft apricot shade. This is great for any sort of discolora discoloration, um, you know, any sort of pigmentation. And for me, especially for redness, because it's a soft apricot tone, and I tend to get that around my nose because I have such allergies. So I do have concealer on around my nose, but it's never enough and it needs to be set. So this is the perfect shade to set it with. So let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I am preoccupied by the fact that I seem to have a pen mark right here on my face, so please ignore that. We're just working in real time here. Okay, I want you to take a look here at my face. So I have used the kind of soft apricot tint third over or one, two, if, depending on how you count there, over in the palette right here in the bottom row. And I have used it here to cover up some of the redness and discoloration and to set the concealer. And on this side, I have used nothing. So do take a look at that with the powder and without. Let's finish it off now. It kind of helps, and I'm putting it on the nose. Let's go back into that highlighter site and put a little bit more on the nose. There we go. See, already my face is starting to feel a lot more finished. Now I'm going to go into this and use it as a bronzer. I am not going to have, this is the warmest shade. You can set with this, but I'm going to kind of bronze with it. It's not going to do much for me, but it's okay. It's going to add a little bit of warmth just around my face so I can be fairly liberal with it because it, it isn't, for me, I would have to go into the slightly darker palette to do that, but for to 
try it out. I just picked up one, but because it is so gentle, I'm kind of, as you see, just kind of buffing it around just to warm up my complexion. I can even go down the neck a little bit. What these powders do if you're grappling with whether or not something that you should budget for in your makeup spending budget, they give a much more finished look to the face. If you look at my face now, minus that little pen mark there, you should be able to see that the face looks a lot more finished, a lot more polished and a lot more done. Not only has it taken away any stickiness that's in my makeup, it has brightened certain parts of my face, warmed other parts, and just set the makeup to help it last longer. Because the powder, just like the hyaluronic hydro powder in the loose form, because it is so uh, finely and thinly milled, it doesn't have any, it doesn't lay poorly on the skin. Some powders end up making your face look powdery. And if I do a close up here, you can see there's no powdery residue or any issues with that. This is just a beautifully done palette. It's also great for touch up. So if you have this in your bag and you have an oilier complexion and you might need to touch up during the day, it's all right here and it's pressed and easy and ready to go. Um, if you, again, this works for the deeper skin tones and it can work as almost a bronzing palette uh, for lighter skin tones if you pick up the deeper shades, which I actually wish I had done because I could bronze with it a little bit better. And these will also work on the eyes as a transition shade, better with the deeper palette. Um, and I think Elysium Fields Beauty told me she was probably gonna get both of them. I don't know, I'll have to ask her about that. I picked up one, but I do think I could pick up the other. These are quite useful. You kind of, to go somewhere, you really don't need anything but this palette. And for $60 um, with such fine product, it is actually a good buy, depending upon your budget, of course. And again, none of the rose scent that we have come to expect so often from by Terry Products. So hey, give me a uh, temperature reading on what you guys are thinking about this product. I'm wondering if you even knew it was released. Like I said, it almost passed me by. Check out Elysium Fields Beauty, uh, her site below or her Instagram below if you would please. I've linked it just to tell her I said hello. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, which I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.